of disappointment. Oh, I'm not much for modern art. What's not to like? It just doesn't make sense to me. I'd rather not go. Remember what Griffin said. You're living in the most advanced time in history for art. Yeah, I know, but... You would not want to miss out on this culturally enriching experience. So this is kind of cool. This is a 1952 uh, TV console set that I've modified with a Raspberry Pi. And we hooked it up so um, you can adjust the volume and also change channels. So check this out. We're going to go, let's go to Bob Ross channel. Boom. Channel 9. Automatically the sky gets lighter and lighter toward the horizon. And that's what we're looking for in the landscape. We just blend it together here. Street. Corey's team with the camcorder and he's got a soundboard pulled up on presumably a computer in the background. So on the other stations, uh, time is still elapsing. So if we go back, we'll see that, you know, 20 seconds have elapsed on Bob Ross's station, for instance. We have uh, a little slide out tray. There used to be a record player that lived here and when I got it, it wasn't in there. so. We set it up with the USB hub and a keyboard that you can just lift out. Now, historically, uh, channel three has always been used for gaming, right? So let's go to channel three and see what we get. We got a little wireless controller here. and that's gonna load up that game. How I did this in software is each channel is a folder on the, um, on the Raspberry Pi, and if it finds a script file, if it finds a script file, it'll execute that application, and if it just finds like movie files, for instance, it's just gonna start playing uh, the video files. And then when you're done, you can just close it on up. Hope you enjoyed watching.